All right, welcome back to the Kagan Dunlap channel. And this is what we're doing today. We're at the 2024 Military Influencer Conference, as you can see. All right, there, MIC, Military Influencer Conference 2024. A lot of big names here, a lot of big veteran owned businesses, a lot of people in the community doing a lot of good things for each other. And um, I wanted to just walk through and do a quick interview of every one of the kiosks and all the different owned businesses that are helping people out in the community and see what they're doing to help raise awareness about things that affect all of us. Hopefully it'll give people some insight on the types of folks that are here and the types of organizations that are here working to elevate awareness on certain issues that affect all of us and also folks that are just trying to do stuff to help the community. So we're going to go through and we're going to talk to everybody. We'll do like a couple minutes at each kiosk and just say hi to people. And then by the end, we'll just compile a big list of you know, all the different organizations and it'll be cool. So I'm gonna start over here with my friends from Canada. First guest, Hello. first guest. Hi there. So what is what is your name if you wanna introduce yourself? My name is Mike from Canada. Mike from, Mike from Canada. So Mike from Canada, what do you guys do here? So this year at Mick, uh, me and my uh, partner in crime, Dave, we put together the Canada House. Unfortunately, we already tore down the, uh, the background. The Canada House. Canada House. Okay. So basically, um, we, uh, we've been coming to Mick for the last three years. Okay. First year was me and Dave. We were only two Canadians. Last year, we were six. Two Canadians, but six last year. Six last year. Okay. This year, 17. And we have our own booth, and we brought down five. Is this your booth right here? It used to be. Tactical snacks? <laughs> That's part of it. That's it. Let's see here. Let's see what it looks like. So, Tactical Snacks, is that right? Yeah, that's uh, one of the brands that was represented over at Canada House. Okay. Hey. hey. And I'm Greg from Canada. Greg from Canada. Hello. So what do you guys Hello. do, Greg? So, um, my company is launching a new Better For You functional snack. The first product will be a healthy, low-sugar, low-carb gummy candy. Okay. And uh, we also added 8 grams of protein per bag into it. 8 grams of protein oh, yeah. per bag. Okay, so like healthy snacks? Exactly, yeah, so this this is uh, the 8 grams of protein okay. candy, and now it's just uh, 3 grams of sugar. Candy. Tactical snacks, okay, That's so right, these yeah. are like for folks that are like serving or like just any anything in general, just like nutritional snacks for folks that are active? Uh, yeah, it's just someone who wants to feel a little better uh, about themselves when they smash a whole bag of sweets. Okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Yeah, and if they happen to shoot guns and uh, kick doors, that's also a bonus. Okay, sure, because they can pack it in their little, their pack or their ruck exactly, or whatever and yeah. take it with them. For sure. Cool, man. Uh, these are like, uh, I ran out of uh, samples, so I'm basically improvising on the spot, filling these oh, pouches okay. here. Like little, little, little goodies. Yeah, and they're going right in your pouch nice. or whatever. Okay. Cool. So yeah, that, that was uh, the brand that was part of Canada House, and there was uh, about a dozen others. There was like uh, an apparel company, a Corporal for Life. There was a fitness company, that uh, Nimble Warrior. There was a cybersecurity company, and okay, a whole bunch of others. Cool, man. And you, what part of Canada are you guys from? All over. So All over. Uh, Mike's from Montreal. Mike is from Montreal. Hold on, let's get Mike. Mike, uh, Mike is from Montreal. Land of poutine and delicious bagels. And delicious bagels and poutine. What is poutine? Poutine is basically fries, gravy, and squeaky cheese. Uh, squeaky cheese. Melted into this lovely, lovely thing that is uh, disgusting and blissful at the same time. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, I appreciate your guys' time. Uh, first one. Yeah. So check them out. The, what, what's the name of the, the company again? Uh, this one is Tactical Snacks. So tacticalsnacks.com. Okay. Um, all the socials are right here. Okay. Tacticalsnacks.com. Okay. Cool. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Thank safe you travels. Us. Yeah, thanks. Safe travels back to Canada. Appreciate Thank it again. What was your name again? Mike from Canada. Mike from Canada and <laughs> Greg from Canada. And Greg from Canada. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Nick. So yes, what do you what do you guys do, Nick? What's 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 uh, the deal? I'm the photographer and the videographer for uh, Canada House. Okay. Here at Mike. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just documenting everything for the first time ever that we have a large contingent over at uh, that, that has come down and joined this conference. Cool. So awesome. And are, where are you from in Canada? Uh, I'm originally from Montreal. I moved out to a little town called Sherbrooke, right along the border with uh, Vermont and uh, New Hampshire. Right on. So, so they have good maple syrup. Is that right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate it, brother. We'll see you guys. Buddy uh, Nick Strasser, okay. From Corporal for Life uh, T-shirts. Okay. Wanted you to have this. Oh, I appreciate that, man. What does it say? Just, Just the, the tip. tip. <laughs>
Very nice. Okay. Cheers. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Cheers, man. All right. So here we're here with CareSource Military and Veterans. Is that what it's called? CareSource? Yes. All right. So what do you what do you guys do here at CareSource? Yeah. So uh, CareSource Military and Veterans is a part of CareSource, which is a Medicaid managed plan healthcare. Okay. And we are entering the military space. So we're really just here to learn more about veterans, active duty, spouses, retirees, their experience in healthcare and how we can fill any gaps. Okay. So you guys mm -hmm. try to fill gaps for like everybody, including families and stuff? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely the families. And sure. where are you guys based out of? Um, CareSource is based out of Dayton, Ohio, um, okay. but we're all over the country. We're spread out and we're, um, we do have a headquarters here in Atlanta as well. In Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. CareSource, military and veterans. Yes. And their families. Yep. All right. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank right. you for stopping by. Yeah, we'll see you guys yeah. later. All right. So I'm here with... Uh, Hi, Talia, Talia Hill. Talia Hill and then... Joe Mandrela. Joe Mandrela. And this is TikTok, right? So. What are you guys doing here to interface with the, the military and veteran community? Yeah, I mean, we have a thriving community of veteran and military creators like you, Kagan. Yeah. Uh, so we want to make sure that they feel supported and empowered. I mean, like, m veterans content has amassed over 15 billion views and likes on TikTok. That, so that's a lot. Yeah, we're yeah. here to just connect with them on the ground, build relationships, and make sure they feel supported. Awesome. And what, 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 what do you guys do? You guys work in policy, or do you guys work in different departments, or what? Yeah, so I focus on our social impact uh, work, so a lot of the work that we do with our nonprofit organizations. So okay. that's another thing we're trying to do here is really kind of you know, demonstrate the power the platform can create for the nonprofit industry, whether that's through individual donors, reaching new audiences, yeah. right? There's a there's a space for every nonprofit on our platform, especially yeah. those working with the military community. So we're here and hopefully kind of articulating and, and uh, telling that story around what what can nonprofits do and how can they really amplify their message on our platform? That's cool. And yeah, there's ways to like apply for it. Like there's a there's a document you can fill out as a nonprofit that you can link your TikTok to so that people can then like set up donations through TikTok to donate to whatever charity organization that you are a part of. And these folks right here are the folks that you can connect with that'll help you get set up and I mean if you need to reach out to me you can shoot me an email as well and I've got the document I can send it out to you guys if you're a nonprofit organization and you want to do some philanthropy through TikTok it's a great way to raise money for your foundation and raise awareness about it too so anyway I appreciate it Talia thank, thank you, you very much. So much I thank appreciate it brother yeah yeah, yeah. Man. you guys have a good rest of your day you too thank you. thanks yeah I just want to say thank you I appreciate it I watch it, everything you're part of the reason I'm here no uh, honestly I can I do a selfie that. with you yeah yeah sure no sure, seriously sure. I told my company like yo Kagan down there I'm like you don't know who that is. I appreciate it, man. Just keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it, brother. One, two, three. My man. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Appreciate brother. it. Yes, it's sir. nice to meet you, man. Yes, sir. Well, what do you guys do here? This is Avalon? So, yeah, this is the Avalon Action Alliance. Okay. Uh, we're an umbrella organization that helps fund three specific yeah. types of programs. Okay. One is for post-traumatic growth. So you might have heard of Warrior Path. It's for veterans, first responders, active duty service members. That's uh, Boulder Crest it's, Foundation. Yes, Boulder Crest Do you created work the with program. Boulder Crest? I work with actually Camp Southern Ground. Gotcha. Uh, it's a nonprofit started by Zach Brown of the Zach Brown Band. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. cool. And so we are one of the recipients of the grants that are provided by the Avalon Action Alliance that funds Warrior Path. Okay. So I'm here representing Camp Southern Ground and Avalon. Okay. And Warrior Path is run at 13 different sites in the U.S. Okay. So we really help get people to a site that's local for them. And what does Warrior Path do exactly? Warrior Path is training, not treatment. We know a lot of individuals have been trained to, you know, go into their warrior service, but there's not a lot of training to come out. And okay. we know people are going to struggle. They have an opportunity to struggle poorly or struggle well. And okay. our Warrior Path program actually teaches you to struggle well. Okay. So it's seven days on site, uh, 90 days follow up. It's not a catch and release program. And it's taught by other people who are in the program. Uh, okay. So there's no therapist. It's you know taught by the other people who have benefited from it. Okay. And it's based on a model of post-traumatic growth, not okay. post-traumatic stress. You can actually come out of trauma better than you were before. A yeah. lot of people say they want to get back to a way they were before, but we can help you actually get even better than you were before because okay. of the trauma. Okay. So that's one of the programs that Avalon represents. There are seven TBI centers. Okay. So a lot of people have TBI-like symptoms. They may have never been diagnosed. It yeah. may have occurred you know, at different points in their life. And there's the ability to have rehab for that. Yeah. You know, and they don't realize how many you know, parts of the body your TBI can affect. Yeah. From your vision, to your sleep, to your health, all of that. So there's centers for that. These are all offered at no cost to the veteran. 
It's all free. Free flights, getting you there, everything's free. Oh, at, wow. at Path, we even, if you need your bags checked, we'll pay for that. Okay. And then there's also an amazing program for substance uh, abuse. Okay. Warrior's Heart um, is that program. There's a program in Texas and now Virginia to okay. help. And they can even do detox. If people are really suffering and need, if they need to get in, they can even help with detox. Awesome. So that three... Um, levels of care from post-traumatic growth to um, TBI to substance abuse. It's a one-stop shop. You can go to Avalon Action Alliance, okay. fill out a contact uh, request, and somebody will call you. You will not be just blown off. Like, you will get a phone call. Awesome. Well, Avalon Action Alliance. All right. Thank well, you. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, you too. It looks like we're here with uh, Act Now Education, is that right? That's right. All right, That's so right. what does is, what is Act Now Education do? So Act Now provides services for military families. Okay. We uh, provide certification, employment, and job placement. Okay. It's all free. It's a nonprofit organization that's uh, self, um, self-funded. self Okay. And here, um, let me get a quick shot of this uh, billboard right here. Yeah. Act Now Education. Yeah, check them yeah. out. And um, what we do, we, all we ask is that you jump onto one of our Zoom meetings okay. every Saturday. Um, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay. You get a code. You jump in into one of our meetings, and then we point you the way. It's just just for you to take the initiative. It's just to help you help people get connected with different ways to get educated, like post service. Yes. yes, it's all free. We have like almost 40,000 resources that That's you can cool. get certified in. Okay. And um, from from IT to business technicians, any field that you want to jump into, okay. either in military or transitioning from military to civilian life. Okay. We assist you with that transition in job placement, certification, education. Okay, what's, now where, what's the website so people can find you? Um, you know, um, it's uh, education, actnoweducation.org. Actnoweducation.org. Yes. Okay, awesome. Well, I appreciate your time, man. If you guys want to find some educational resources after service or while you're getting ready to get out, like, check, that, check them out, actnoweducation.org. So yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Yeah. All right, so I'm here with the, uh, the women's military memorial out of DC, right? I've been to this memorial before. We had an event over there not too long ago, but I'm here with Miss Sharon, yes. and you work for the organization, right? I'm actually the uh, Georgia ambassador. Okay, and, and what do you guys do exactly? Well, there's two things. Um, we have the largest uh, in, uh, memorabilia from the Revolutionary War all the way up to current. Okay. And the second thing we do is we have a registry and we're asking all women veterans, which there are um, three many. million. Yeah, there are three many. Million. Um, and there's 9,300 here in the state. Yeah. Uh, 93,000 here in the state. But um, we have a registry and we tell everyone we'd like you to register yeah, you your want to service. Show, show people what that, uh, and, that pamphlet kind of looks like. Yeah. And um, there we go. And what it is, is it's a place to leave your legacy. Okay. And uh, and this is the beginning, and then the end product looks like this. And okay. what it is, is it tells you what you did, uh, your ribbons, and then a photo, and your service, and everything else. So just kind of like a way to log all of the service from all the uh, women that have served in the military? Exactly. Okay. And then if anyone has any questions, they're always welcome to Here, let's call look at us. that. There we go. That's your, your number's on there? Yes, it's okay. the 800 number. Perfect. Or you can go online to um, the uh, memorial itself. Yeah, the memorial, in there it is right it's there. It's in Arlington. Yeah. Um, if you go up to Lincoln Memorial and you take a left and go over the Arlington Bridge, okay. you'll see the building right in front of you as you're crossing over. Perfect. And that's where the museum is, and that's where you can even go in and check to see yourself. And once you log in and you have an account, you can check for other um, people that you served with, other women. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. If you guys want to check them out, it's the women, or the Military Women's Memorial. And that phone number that you saw on that sticker, that'll show you exactly where to go. And you can register or get your friends registered and get all set up there. Correct. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. So I am here with Syracuse University and... Who are you? I am Linda Nellis. I'm with the alumni service team for IVMF. Okay, for IVMF. and Institute I, for Veterans and Military Families. Institute for Veterans and Military Families out of Syracuse Correct. University. Okay, Correct. what do you guys do? So we provide the opportunity for veterans, active duty members, and spouses okay. to earn an industry certification at no charge All right. or take advantage of one of our entrepreneurial programs. Okay. So we offer a full portfolio of entrepreneurial programs based on where they're at with their business from ideation all the way through people looking to even exit their business. Okay. 
So this is a, a post-service kind of thing that you guys do for veterans that are transitioning out of the military? Yes. Help them get set up for success when they get out? And okay. spouses. And spouses. Yes. Okay, so um, how long has this been around for? So it was founded actually in 2008 by okay. Dr. Mike Haney. It started with just one program, EBV, our flagship program, and it's now grown to over 15 entrepreneurship programs and the Onward to Opportunity program. That's awesome. Well, I, I appreciate it. Is there a website people can go to to find you guys? IVMF.Syracuse.edu. IVMF.Syracuse.edu, and you can find them the Institute for Veterans and Military Families, right there. Correct. All right, thank, thank you for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Take care. You too. Hopefully you get jobs, actually. All right, what's your name? My name is Jerome Hardaway. All right. I am the Executive Director of Vets Who Code, and I help veterans write software and get jobs. Vets Who Code, where can they find you? What's a website? VetsWhoCode.io. Okay, VetsWhoCode.io. If you're a vet or you're somebody that's transitioning out, you want to learn how to code, go to vetsucode.io. .io. Yeah, and then you can learn how to code. Is it, how much does it cost anything? I'm Zero. I don't it's do free. It. I don't it's do free. So if you don't do it, you're a dummy. So get out and, like, if you want to code or learn learn something about making software, go to vetsucode.io. Yes. All right. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's <laughs> nice to meet you. So who are you? I'm Neely Thompson. I'm the Chief of Staff for Talents Ascend, where we use skills-based hiring to match candidates to employers. Okay. No resumes, no job boards. All you have to do is create one one quick profile, and we match you to your dream jobs. Okay, and what's uh, what's a website people can go to to find you guys? Talentsascend.com. Talentsascend.com? Yes, sir. Like ascend, like as in like ascending into heaven, right? That's right. We're okay. raising you up. Okay. All right. So go to them if you want. What, would you say, explain one more time what it is that you guys do you help, like, get people connected with, like, employment? Yes. Okay. Using your skills, your salary, and your location. Okay. So reverse the hiring process. You get to create the package you want, and then we find you and get you hired for what you bring to the table. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's All right. pretty cool. Well, check them out, man. Get online. Go to, go, what was the website? Talentsascend.com. Talentsascend.com. All right. Check them out. All right, so I am here with Natalie. Natalie. Yeah. Very nice yes. to meet you, Natalie. And what do you guys do here? Military Military yes. Homeschoolers Association? Yes, Military Homeschoolers Association. It, so this was founded from the passion of being a home educator within the military context for 23 years. Oh, wow. We have five kids. We have one left, 12th grade. And so the passion to create this organization is because I would like to elevate the voice of the military connected homeschooler okay. into the broader discussion about military child education. Okay. And yes. so, what do you get, what do you guys do for for service members or veterans? Like, how are you, how are you guys connecting them with this? Stuff? Yeah. So, Military Homeschools Association is for any military connected uh, member. So, it can be for active duty, retiree, veteran, and so okay. we uh, allocate resources. We garner resources. We also provide like how to homeschool information. Um, we also have a podcast that is launching base oh, nice. to base military homeschooling. Okay. Yes. Cool. And where can people find you? Like, what's the website or anything? Okay. So you can find me on socials, Military Homeschoolers Association. Okay. So that's Facebook as well as um, on um, Instagram. Uh, you can also find me at uh, info at militaryhomeschoolers.org. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you very appreciate much. It's very nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice meeting you, too. <laughs> She's great. Okay. <laughs> so I am here with Miss Chantel. Chantel? Yes. Chantel? Okay. Yes. Chantel, what do you guys do here? Hi, I'm with the Warrior Alliance, and we assist veterans, active duty, and families okay. with connecting them with resources, not only just in the immediate Georgia community, but all over the United States. All over the, and what type of resources are we talking about here? We're talking about from housing to aging resources, financial assistance, and VA benefits. So okay. think of us as 411 for veterans and families. Okay, so you guys get people connected with any type of resource they Correct. may need, whether they're active duty or veteran? Correct. Okay, cool. And when, where, where were you guys founded? We were founded five years ago here in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. We're also in, located right next to the Brave Stadium. Okay. So cool. if you like baseball, that's where we are. Okay. All right. And where can people find you? Where, what's a good website for you guys? So we are at thewarrioralliance.org. Okay. And they can come on and they can register. Registration is free. Okay. And the services are free. Awesome. Services are free. Registration is free. Check them out. Go to their website. I appreciate your time, Chantel. Thank you so much. Yeah. You guys have a good one. All righty. Yeah. All right, so what's your name? Daniel Odell with Motifate LLC. Okay, Motifate? Yeah, Motifate. 
motive, motive fate. fate. Okay, cool. What do you and what do you do? I'm a motivational speaker, traveling around the world with my awesome service dog by my side, the fluffy poodle, Look inspiring others to follow their dreams. Because if I can get through my challenges and my disabilities, so can you. Look at that fluffy hair, man. That's a that's bananas right there. Look at that. <laughs> like a ninja turtle. That's right. right that's where, right. What's that? You got a website or anything? Oh, you can follow us on Facebook, Motivate LLC. Okay, Motivate LLC. Check them out. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. No, you're awesome, brother. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot of really cool organizations here, and I'm just trying to give everybody an opportunity to kind of pitch what they do because, like, it's hard to sometimes you get lost in a sea of stuff, and, like, people don't get to see everybody. So I want to give everyone an opportunity to, like, see what's going on, see what kind of cool people are in the community and what things they're doing to help people. All right, so what's your name? My name is Danielle Allen. Okay. I am the Relationship and Communication Specialist with Armed Forces Insurance. Okay, and what do you guys do? So we have a host of products uh, for that services uh, military, active duty, retirees, veterans, and their families. Okay. Home, renter, auto, business. We have a whole line of products. And yeah, come visit us at AFI.org okay. to learn more. We also have our Military Spouse of the Year program where we honor military spouses who do it good things in their community okay. and we represent each branch and then every year we have an overall winner that represents military spouse of the year for okay. yeah you guys provide insurance for pretty much everything pretty much everything just okay. visit us at afi.org and you can actually get a quote online awesome check them out online afi.org yes all right thank us. you very much for You're your welcome. time thank you yeah all right so i am here with what's your name ashley craig ashley craig and then jamela davis jamela davis it's very nice to meet you ladies what do you what do you what do you guys do here the veteran spouse network what do you guys do so we provide peer support for our military and veteran spouses partners family members also our divorced spouses widowed spouses surviving spouses and then the partners that are not even married. Like, do you love a veteran or service member? You can get peer support from us. Okay, and where where did you guys where are you guys based out of? We're based out of Austin, Texas, and okay. we are affiliated with the University of Texas at Austin. Okay, when, when were you guys founded? In 2016. Okay, cool. Yeah. Do, you, do you guys have a website or anything? We do. It's VeteranSpouseNetwork.org. Okay, cool. And you guys just like help link veteran spouses up with other veteran spouses, or just with resources? No, resources and peer support. So okay, resources and peer support. Yes, peer support groups, and we also do one-on-one -on -one peer support as well and social clubs. Okay, awesome. And so what was the website one more time? It's uh, veteranspousenetwork.org, okay. and all of our services are free. All of it we is serve, free. And serve nationwide. And nationwide. Yes, so please get connected with us and then find that community of support. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time, Thank you. ladies. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thank Appreciate you so much. Y'all have a good one. You too. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I wish that this guy was here because he's supposed to. Ah, it's all right. All right, so Navy Federal Credit Union, I know a lot of you probably already bank with these guys. You probably don't know who they are. Um, but what. When, do you guys know when Navy Federal was founded? I've only been there for six months. <laughs> How about you? I've been here for ten months. I've only been here for a couple days. How about Josh, you know? Come Josh, on. come on. You know when Navy Federal was founded? It's almost a hundred years. I do yeah. that. Um, 1929. 1929? Okay. Well, anyway. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. <laughs> anyway. I, I bank with Navy Federal, so I just wanted to come by and say hi to these guys. I know I know all of you are priority aware. Great institution. They take good care of people. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> We're Navy Mutual. Okay, Navy um, Mutual. What's your name? My name is Michael. Michael, nice to meet you, Michael. I mean, what, what do you guys do here at Navy Mutual? So we have two branches. We're a nonprofit. We, um, on one branch, we sell life insurance okay. to service members and their families at low cost. All right. The other branch is our education branch, where we help people that are transitioning from service okay. into the civilian world. We let them know about their benefits and stuff like that. Um, help educate help people on their benefits? Exactly. Okay. Um, survivor benefit plan is one of our big things that we talk about okay. uh, for retirees. We also talk about TSP. Um, we are a VSO as well, so we help people um, get their benefits from the VA as well. Gotcha. Okay. How long have you guys been around for? 1879. 1879, so, wow. Five years. Okay, yeah. cool. And is there a website you guys have? or NavyMutual.org. NavyMutual.org. All right, check them out. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Cool. All right, I'm here with uh, what looks like, what's the name? Western Governors University. Yes. And what do you guys do here at Western Governors University? We are a nonprofit online competency-based university. We've been around for 27 years. Um, we 
offer school of technology, business, health professions, and education. We graduate the most nurses in the country. We have certifications embedded in our IT programs. Um, in our school of business, we have certifications and certificates as well embedded. And uh, school of education, same concept. It's completely online until they do their student teaching. Same thing with nursing, completely online until they do a clinical experience. Okay, how do they pay for this stuff? Is this like, can, do you guys take just regular payments the same way as every other university, or do you take GI bills or any of that stuff? GI bill, TA, 9 post 9-11, we take all of the benefits from the military, but we charge a flat rate tuition fee of under $4,000 for a six-month term. Okay, so it's a little bit more affordable than your average like college or university in person. Absolutely. So you apply for FAFSA, then you apply for scholarships and um, grants opportunities, and then you would tap into your military benefits, which is really nice. Okay. That's awesome. Where, where are you guys based out of? Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh. But we're in Salt Lake City, Utah. So we are completely online, though. So you're, the, the secret sauce of WGU is you're assigned a program mentor from enrollment to commencement, which is really nice to guide you through your, prog your whole progress of your uh, program. And then uh, you only meet with instructors one-on-one -on -one for items that you haven't mastered yet. So if you've been in the field forever in your MOS, you take an assessment, show mastery, move on immediately to the next course. So as many courses as you fit in that six-month term, that's all you pay is the flat rate of under $4,000. That's pretty damn cool. Okay, so where, where can people find you guys? Uh, WGU.edu. Okay, WGU.edu. Check them out. If you guys are trying to use tuition assistance or you're getting ready to transition out and you want to do some online schooling while you're working full-time and stuff like that, then this seems like a great opportunity to get some, some education, get some skills, get some certifications to get you, you know, jump-started in your career and start making some good money when you get out of the military. Yes, sir. So I'm Diana Hurtado, Army veteran, military spouse. Josh Prado, West Coast. I represent the West Region. I'm a Navy veteran and a part of our strategic partnerships team. Reach out to us. We'd like to make sure that you finish your degree. We have quality. Um, we have mentors. And we also just want to make sure that we support the military community in whatever way possible. So. And I'm uh, the Southeast Region for military outreach. So. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your guys' time. Check them out. You know, And if you want to get educated, go, go, go visit their website. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. You too. All right, I am here with Ken O'Hearn. That's kind of like Mike O'Hearn. Yep. You kind of jack like Mike O'Hearn too. <laughs> he's a cousin. He's a cousin. <laughs> so, Operation Headshot. What do you guys do here? So, Operation Headshot is a nonprofit, and what we do is we help transitioning veterans, uh, photography classes, education, help them to. Uh, basically find a different career path when they just can't do what they want to do like you know outside um, yeah. from what they did from the military okay you know whatever their AFSC was MOS you know yeah and then we also provide I'm the director of mental health and so I gotcha. do pro bono work for trauma therapy okay uh, EMDR cognitive behavioral therapy um, because we know that sorry VA we know that the VA waiting list nine months to a year it's yeah just, it's just not right and yeah, yeah too many suicides out there and then we also have a West Point graduate, Paul Tennyson. Um, he'll provide free legal advice. Um, he'll help you with uh, anything that you might be dealing with that you know you just can't afford to deal with on your own. Like legally? Legally. Okay, yep. so he does like some pro bono work yep, stuff? Yeah, he does some pro bono work. Okay. And then we have uh, Justin Allender. He is a loan depot, and he primarily will help you with like VA loans, help you get established, understand how the process works, and basically take all the painful stuff out of it. Yeah. So that way he'll walk you through it to make sure that you can get your house, get everything done that you need done. Okay, cool, man. Where can people find you guys? Do you have a website? Uh, yep, so it's Operation Headshot, right here, OperationHeadshot.com. Okay, OperationHeadshot.com. All right, and then they, 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 I'm sure they got some, social media too, probably? Yep, social media, and we actually have some scholarships coming up. So if you go onto the website, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can apply for it. And uh, there's usually between eight to 10 spots, depending on donors. Yeah. Because um, we're relatively new. We just got our IRS tax code, so we can start taking donations now. Okay. Please help with donations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the more we can get people out there um, and just helping uh, the veterans be able to get back into the workforce. Yeah. And transition, um, you know, just uh, not to speak about. I love the military, love my country, but yeah. just everything that happened with uh, when we transitioned out, it's just so hard to get back out into the workforce and understand how to, uh, you know, uh, relate to other people coming yeah. out of the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate I appreciate your time, man. And like like yeah. you said, if you if you want to find out more about him, go to OperationHeadshot.com and check him out. Awesome, awesome. I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, thank you. Brother. Nice to meet you. What was your name again? Ken. Ken. Nice to meet hey, you, Ken. Name?
Kagan. Kagan? Oh, yeah. cool name. It's nice to meet you, Ken. Good to meet you, too. Yeah, see you around, brother. Yeah, thank you for that, too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, so what's your name? My name is Alejandra. Hello, Alejandra. It's so uh, fuzzy, I'm sorry. A-A-F-M-A-A, -A 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 -A? what do you Yeah, get? so what's... it's AFMA. AFMA, AFMA, okay. and we are essentially a life insurance nonprofit. We've been around for 147 years. Okay. We're so... based off in Fort Myer. Okay. We do wealth financial planning, mortgages, and as I mentioned earlier, life insurance. We are military focused, okay. and we do everything from veterans, active duty, to family affiliations, okay. and all of that. All right. We really just want to help the community. That's why we're a nonprofit. Okay. And again, we're one of the oldest nonprofits that do what we do. There's not many of us out there. And you guys are in, the, you said Fort Myers? Fort Myers, that is said. our headquarter location. Okay, I've been to Fort Myers, it's a very nice, very nice town. Um, how long have you guys been around for? Uh, as I mentioned, 147 years. We've been there since the Civil War, actually. Wow. That's when it was founded, because during that time period, or at least the foundation that AFMA was founded by, was because a lot of the soldiers who died couldn't leave anything to their families. And oh. that's why we founded the life insurance, so that they could give back to their families. Because what they would do is that every member that survived in the Civil War would put in a hat a few coins to give to that member's family. Jesus. But the Civil War was the bloodiest, bloodiest war, so yeah. when they all died, what happened to the family? Yeah. And that's why AFMA was founded. Okay. For right. that specific reason. Well, where can people find you guys? What's the website? So our website is AFMA.com. You can find us there. You can also find us on our social media at AFMA Official on Instagram, okay. Facebook, and LinkedIn. Awesome. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Alejandra. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. you. It was nice to meet you, yeah. too. Hopefully, if you guys if you guys have want to get some life insurance out of uh, Fort Myers, Florida, check out AFMA. Fort Myers, Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Virginia, Virginia. I was thinking Florida. DC. Virginia, sorry, Virginia. My Virginia, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My area. bad. That's it's AFMA as well, everybody. AFMA. AFMA. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Fort Myers, Florida. I don't know why. Virginia. <laughs> All right. Well, appreciate it. I'm here with uh, Kelly, Kelly Fisk. Fisk. Yes, sir. All right, and what do you guys do here? What's the, what's the name of the organization? Uh, United Military Care. We're okay. actually out of Mari Marietta, Georgia. Okay. Over in Cobb County. We serve Georgia. Okay. We started out in 2012 as, as a group basically doing um, case working, you know, okay. getting in touch with veterans that are having challenges, whether they be uh, short term housing, okay. uh, food, and or hope. Okay, do you guys work with any like VA benefit stuff? Uh, we do, as a matter of fact, that's the beauty of our whole thing. We have a great hood here. Okay. Okay. Because we are connected to with the VA constantly. Okay. And we also work real heavy with Georgia Department of Veterans Services. Gotcha. I've told anyone that's out of state they need to be talking to their Georgia not their Georgia, it could be Kansas Department of Veterans Services, because these people get paid by your tax dollars yeah. to help the veteran apply to the VA for nothing. Okay. Okay. All but right. what we do again, we're getting ready for uh, our sixth We Care Fair. And, okay. And that's where it's open veterans. Last year we had 3,500 veterans and caregivers show up. Okay. And uh, we gave out over 92,000 pounds of food. Uh, local barber college got over 200 heads of hair. Oh, nice. And we have the VA there and the Georgia Department of Veterans Services sitting there one on one working with veterans. Okay. And this year we're also going to have the VA will be there working on the uh, VA cards where they can get them right there and sit to their house. Okay. And where, where can people find you? Um, actually, we're, we're on United Military Care. You okay. You can look us up on the website. What's the website? What's the website? Um, UnitedMilitaryCare.org. Okay. okay, UnitedMilitaryCare.org. .org. Thank okay. you very much. All right, give, give them, go check them out. Get on uh, UnitedMilitaryCare.org. Thank awesome. you. Guys. All right, appreciate Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, okay? Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. Great time. Thank thanks. You. I'm here with Chad Johnson with who? Fidelity Investments. Fidelity Investments. What's the plank? Uh, plank is a new application that we're putting out that sort of removes the barriers to entry for the military community okay. by providing financial education. Um, uh, no matter where you are in your financial journey, you can get access to this very, very quickly. Okay. And wh what are you guys? What are you guys doing here, setting up? What do you typically do for like veterans exactly? Yeah. So, as my, my role as a military community leader is to remove the barriers to entry for the military community, okay. provide financial education for wherever they are in their financial journey, okay. and then remove the uh, intimidation factor of entering the financial ecosystem. Okay. So, you guys, do you guys help like veterans and active duty members like? 
learn how to invest their, their money wisely and things like that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, my entire goal is to look at Fidelity's entire portfolio of product, service, and benefits and make them work better for the military community. Okay. And how long have you guys, I mean, how long has Fidelity been around for? It's been around for a while, right? Yeah, we started in 1946. Okay. And uh, we have been, had a specific focus on the military for the last two and a half years. Okay. How long have you been with them for? Uh, 20 years. 20 years. Okay. So so he's an OG. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I've been around for a long time. I got out of the Marine Corps and I went straight to Fidelity. And because of the uh, benefits that we've had as employees and what they've taught me along the way, um, my family's financial future is, is set, and that's exactly the same thing I want for all of our men and women who get out of the military. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's an honorable, you know, task to set out on. A lot of people in the military are not very good with money, and, like, this is a, a good resource to use. Where can people find you guys? Yeah, we have branches in every single state in the United States, and uh, go, go to fidelity.com, and you'll be able to locate a branch near you. Come in and see us. We'd love to talk to you. We'd love to help you find your financial forward. Awesome. Check them out, fidelity.com. Okay, I'm here with Stace Lloyd. and yeah. Stace, what, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, yeah you got Stace? it right. Yeah, okay, yeah. What, what, what do you guys do here? What is this? this is so, dope? so we're Dope Coffee. We're a coffee roaster and manufacturer here in Decatur, Georgia. Okay. Um, Military owned uh, and veteran owned and family owned business. Um, okay. Myself, uh, my cousin Mike, and uh, his wife Shell. So we uh, put Dope Coffee together in 2019. Okay. Um, e commerce at first, but now we're pushing through our retail. Um, so 500 stores from the DMV area, Kroger. Uh, Harris oh, nice. Teeter in the Carolinas and down here in Atlanta. That's cool, man. Yeah. Do, what do you guys do? You guys do any uh, like nonprofit work at all or anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. So we do. Um, we actually have a fund where we put two dollars back per bag for okay. uh, certain bags for military. Yeah. Um, we had something with V2I. They're, they're here. Um, also. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We was doing something with them. Um, but we're always looking to, you know, give back. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long? How long you guys been around for now? Uh, 2019. 2019. Yeah. Okay. And um, where can people find you? What's a good website? Uh, well, if you're if you're local and uh, from the DMV to Atlanta, you can find us in Kroger. Okay. In the Carolinas, you can find us in Harris Teeter and Lowe's, and then here in Atlanta and Kroger, and then online at www. Real dope dot coffee. Real dope dot coffee. Yes, sir. All right, there it is. If you want to look them up, find them up on the find them on the internet. If you're not local to Georgia, if you are local to Georgia, go to Kroger, and I'm sure you find them on the yeah, shelves. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, appreciate your time, brother. Hey, it's nice you. to meet you, brother. Yes, sir. You too. Yeah. Have a good one. All right. I'm here with uh, Matt. How do you pronounce your last name? Sure. Matt Share. Okay. And what do you guys? Mill Track is that the name of it? It stands for the Military Transition Resources and Calendar website. Okay. You can find us at www miltrack m-i-l-t-r-a-c dot org okay and there you can find information on resources available from the many resources from the VA to people like Anna Larson we just talked to a minute ago on things that are really relevant to people in transition okay we're in the process of building a can calendar for Texas and we're hoping to expand it to Georgia and other states because there are so many pieces of information within each state, and we want to be able, if you're going to go to North Carolina, or you're going to go to San Antonio, Texas, that you can see what's available in terms of transition, networking events, and job fairs, and all that. So okay. that's our mission. We love Mick. This is our second year at Mick. Nice. We just, we wanted to get a booth based on uh, our respect for what you guys do, and so we'll we'll be back next year. We're going to get a bigger booth. So that's thank cool, you man. so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. And what was the website one more time? www.miltrac.org. All right. Yeah, look them up if you guys want help transitioning, job opportunities, resources, calendar invites, all kinds of cool stuff. So check them out. All right, I appreciate you, brother. This is a person I know. I recognize. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. Your shoulder, actually. <laughs> Let's have the belt on your shoulder. No. So we have to buckle it or it doesn't stay. Ask me how I know. How do you know? Because it didn't stay. Oh, because it didn't stay. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> right? Okay. Tell me if this is not the best trophy you've ever seen. That's pretty cool. Right? That's like, amazing. who needs a glass trophy for a shelf? <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right, so we are here today with, is it Austin Kerrig? Yes. All right, Austin, what do you guys do? Oh, it looks like, so Austin has something here. It looks like Warrior Rising Valor Champion. And what are you? What are you a champion of? 
So we had a pitch competition, and I. So we had a pitch competition. Yeah. I'm so lucky that I won the pitch competition last night. So I got to go on stage and get this amazing oh. belt and twenty thousand dollars for our organization. Twenty thousand dollar grant for the organization. What is your organization? So we're exceptional families of the military. Okay. We serve military families where they have a loved one that's enrolled in EFMP, or maybe should have been, so we serve retirees, guard, and active duty. It, the EFMP program stands for the... Exceptional Family Member Program. Exceptional and so Family Member, member Program. program. Yes. And so we're the Sorry. so we're exceptional families of the military so that when families are looking for resources, we come up on top. Okay, so you guys don't, you're not officially related with the military, you're not in the military, nope. but you, work with you kind of coordinate with the efmp program no we serve the families that are enrolled in the program okay so you're just an extra re an we're a non-profit resource. that serves the families and what we try to do is okay. fill the gaps okay. for everything that the dod isn't doing isn't that we know families need to do yeah. okay so if you have a an, if a family member that is efmp in the military this is a great resource to help fill those gaps like you're saying uh to help them out in, in whatever situation, what kind of gaps have you found that people have had? So they feel alone when they go places. So we okay. have 15,000 people in our peer-to-peer -peer support groups. Okay, peer-to-peer -peer support groups. Peer-to-peer -peer support groups. Okay, so other folks dealing with the same issues. Yeah, right, so now you're not alone going, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do or where to look or where to find a doctor. Yeah. You have somebody else who's lived that and they're there for you. Okay. We do one-on-one -on -one support. So if they're like, I can't figure out how to make this work or what to do or where to go, we do that for you. And then we okay. take what we learn from families in those groups we do a survey every year so we can collect data that proves what they're telling us is true. Gotcha. And then we go to Congress and the DOD and we say, these are the stories, here's the data, it's real. And here are solutions for families by families. So we're gonna get it right the first time and not have to go fix the mistakes we made before. Okay, well that's that's very uh, honorable of you guys. And I, I, I you, you were in the EFMP program yourself, correct? I am, and all three of our kids are. All three of your kids And we are. have been my husband's entire 20 year career. Okay, is he still in right now? He is. Jeez, okay. Where, where are you guys based out of? Fort Myer, Virginia. Outside Fort Myer, DC. Virginia. See, this is the second Fort Myer, Virginia family, and I thought that there was only a Fort Myer, Florida. Oh, there's no S. Oh, there's no S. That's true. Yes. I should have known that. Yeah. See, this is what this is what you get when you eat rocks for a living. But anyway, I appreciate what you guys do. This is this is huge. I have a lot of friends who have uh, EFMP family members or friends that have served in the past that do so. I would imagine this is going to be a very impactful and probably already very impactful organization. Um, how long have you guys been around for now? So we officially got our nonprofit status from the IRS in April 21, so about okay. three years. So very recently. Yes. Okay. And you're gonna, you guys are in this for the long haul. You plan on sticking around, doing this thing, going down the road even when he retires? So when he retires, I told him somebody else's active duty needs to leave the charge yeah. because that is what people want to hear and that's who needs the most help. So I'll hand it off to somebody else, Okay. but still be there to make sure it's going smoothly. I to just facilitate. know it won't be me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, where can people find you? So you can find us online. Okay. Uh, we're on almost every social media platform. It's really easy. Exceptional Families of the Military. You okay. can find us on Facebook. That's where all of our support groups are. And we have a website, exceptionalmilitaryfam.com. Exceptionalmilitaryfam.com. Just F-A-M? F-A-M. Because, you know, putting I-L-I-E-S, people were confusing it with L-Y. Ah, uh, yes, they were. So FAM, okay. Exceptionalmilitaryfam.com. If you guys want to link. Oh, there's, there's the link right there. I I got it. Okay, good. It's right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank Austin. So much. I appreciate it. And congratulations again Thank on the you. grant. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to crush it with that, with that stuff We're out there. So, Thank awesome. You. Cool. Thank yeah, you. of course. Sure thing. I appreciate it. Thank you Thanks so for much. your time. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, guys, have a good one. Thank you. All right, so we're here with uh, what looks like Tally Tumblr. Yep. Is that right? What's you your got name? it. My name's Matt Butler. Matt Butler? Yep. Okay, Matt, what, what do you guys do here? So I've got a couple different products I'm going to show you here. So okay. the first product I created is called Rollers. Okay. So have you ever played bocce ball? Yes. Horseshoes? Yeah. So think of that, but it's between those two games. So these are the discs, and in an underhand bowling motion, you roll the discs okay. as close as you can to the goal right here. Whichever side it falls on are the points you get. Pretty simplistic. Oh, you're just rolling it to the, you're the rolling thing. You're rolling it. And okay. that's what makes sense, because, right, it's called rollers. Okay. So you're just rolling the disc. That's cool. And then if you ever get to an argument of who's closer, attach on the measuring device here, and it, oh, you can see who's closer. Oh, you can see who's closer. Okay. So, so you that's get the tiebreaker. That's yeah. rollers. Yeah, we've had it out for a while. And so rollers got me to create Tally Tumbler. Okay. So this is a scorekeeper for yard games. Any game that goes up to 21, yeah. you can keep track of two teams. 
or, or uh, players, and then the Scoring bottom is rounds. rounds you've won. That's cool. So that's the yard game one. That's We've cool, got man. Right over here, a bunch of pictures of all the different yard games you can play on there, from like ladder ball to bocce ball to rollers here. Okay. And then the third one I'll show you here. This is a golf scorekeeping tumbler. So okay. we've got all sorts of golf inspired names here. So this Stroke is play, stroke greens play. and regulation. Yep. So this one's bogey blue. The top two go up to 129 to keep track of your score. Oh wow. And then this goes up to 18 to show what hole you're on. So it's really a personalized scorekeeper. Okay. The bottom one's uh, greens and regulation, a very popular golf statistic, but people have used it for like lost balls or how many drinks they had, whatever type of statistic they want to do, they've yeah. added that. So okay. we've got a bunch of different colors that are here. Uh, we started doing laser engraving too, so customizing for different like tournaments and golf courses, and uh, so those are my uh, those are my products I have here. Yeah, that's cool. Veteran man. owned company. I was in the Air Force for 20 years. Okay. Flew on a reconnaissance aircraft called Joint Stars. Okay. I now feel a little old because it is now retired and in the boneyard. Oh my gosh. So that was in Georgia. So actually here is in Warner Robins. Okay. And then uh, when I was active duty, I created rollers first, and then we went on to some other products. So I'm cool. really in the sporting goods, consumer product good area. That's cool, man. All right. Well, what do you? Where can people find you? We can go to uh, you have a website? All right. We can also go to rollers.com as well. But you can also find us on Amazon, Target, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, a lot of sporting goods. So okay. like uh, Big Five, Academy. I won't go through all of them, but you can find a bunch of them on there. But okay. uh, Target, Walmart, I'll stop at that, but cool. you can find them on there. Awesome, man. All right, yeah. well, I appreciate your time. It's nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, thanks. Nice yeah. to meet you, too. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah. Hire Heroes USA. Yes. And what's your name? My name is London Coble. London Coble, it's very nice to meet you. What do you guys do here at, at Hire Heroes USA? I have, a, I have an idea, but I want to yeah, hear from you. Absolutely. So at Hire Heroes USA, we empower veterans and military spouses into meaningful careers. And okay. so what I mean by that is we're with them at every portion of their journey. So whether they're separated from the military, about to get out soon, whether they are active duty, any place in their career, we help them to find their next meaningful career okay and so that's helping them to translate their skills from military to civilian life and then with military spouses they're moving around just as much as the veterans and so we yeah. make sure that they get jobs as well that's through one-on-one -on -one mentoring that's career coaching that's virtual career events and that's also resume writing mock interviews all of the things that they need to be successful in the workforce okay. and we're with them all the way from that beginning resume to negotiations with their employer oh, so you guys help them build their own resumes and stuff absolutely okay. we write them for them and they have the biggest thing is that it's at no cost to them of course but it's one-on-one -on -one with a transition specialist that walks with them through the entire journey and okay. they can always come back if they want a promotion if they're looking for a different job we're with them for the lifetime of their career and how, how much does this uh, kind of thing run people usually oh it's at absolutely no cost it's free it's free free it's free. It's it's a not a five finger discount, but it's free. It's yeah. Free. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, exactly. where, where can people find you guys? Yeah, they can find out more about our organization at hireheroesusa.org. Okay, hireheroesusa.org. That's correct. Awesome. All right, well, I appreciate it. Thank That's you very fun. much for Thank for your time. You. Yeah. Absolutely. If you want to check them out, get on their website. Thank you. Please do. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so I'm here with. Julie Brand from Millspace Books. Julie Rand? Brand. 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 Julie, it's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Millspace Books. Okay, and what, what do you guys do here? So we are a book publishing company, and okay. so we are a division, the military division of W Brand Publishing. Okay. So I was inspired to start W Brand Publishing about six years ago because I lost the stories of my father who was a, in World War II in the Pacific and my uncle who was D-Day. And wow. so when his wife died at 99, I was like, I am tired of losing stories. So I started a publishing company and found out that we had so many veterans and mill spouses that were coming to us to publish. Then this year I started Mill Space Books. This year? To publish military-centric uh, books. Yes. Okay. And, and so stories. Is it, how, how do you guys work out costs for publishing? So we it are... Vary? It varies. Okay. What we do have a package. We do offer a discount um, of twenty percent for our military uh, section for our military centric books. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And, and uh, where can people find you guys? You can find us at wbrand.com slash millspace books. Uh, you okay. can find us at wbrand pub uh, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, and you can find us on LinkedIn. Okay. And so this is a division. So you just have to 
go down and find Mill Space. Okay. On our, our main website. Cool. So if you want, if you need, if you need a book written or want to write a book on your your life or your stories in the military or anything like that, go check them out. Check on their website. What was your website one more time? It is wbrandpub.com. Wbrandpub.com. To check them out. Yeah. So, what's your name? Brunella. Uh, nice. Brunella, nice to meet you. Brunella. Brunella, yeah, very good, very good. Did I do that? You did. You got to roll the you tongue. Roll, roll the, the R. Tongue. So yeah. what? What's? Uh, what do you guys do? I am the owner of the Military Editor Agency, which is a ghostwriting and editing agency that caters exclusively to military authors okay. and or military related manuscripts. Okay, and what do you, you guys basically like help folks write their books? Precisely, yes. Okay. Um, I am a ghostwriter, which means I write books for people who don't have the time or the skills to do so. Okay. But I am also an editor, and uh, that means I polish the manuscript they have already written um, and uh, turn it into a manuscript that is ready for publication with a beautiful red bow on top. Okay, and so that, that helps people like write books and sell their books eventually. And they... Absolutely, yes, okay. because you cannot skip on quality. A manuscript that then turns into a book must meet industry standards yeah. if you want it to be successful. Yeah. You can't expect to cut corners during the production sure. stage and then for your book to be successful once it's it, you know it's on sale. Yeah. By that time, it's too late to turn it into a bestseller. That's fair. Um, and my authors are critically acclaimed, award winners, bestsellers okay so um, yeah my mission is to bring military voices to the forefront of the publishing industry and I don't want any military story to be lost in history amnesia I think that's great I think that's great and where, where can people find you so my website is www.themilitaryeditor.com okay that's where they can find me and uh, we're also on Facebook LinkedIn okay. and Instagram Cool. So if you if you want to have your a book written about you, or you want to write a book, reach out to them. Check out their website at www.themilitaryeditor.com. All right. Thank you. Brunella. Brunella. Thank you very much for your time. Likewise. Thank you so much. <laughs> of course. Okay. And your name is. Tony Krefeld. Tony Krefeld. Right. Okay. And I am the author of The Fixer: Forging Unstoppable Teams, which covers both my military experience from. Uh, uh, Air Force Security Police, as well as my 25-year career in technology consulting, oh. where I was branded as a fixer to go in and fix the messy teams that weren't getting the job done, Gotcha. and all the leadership lessons that I had to learn to get those teams working well, and not just working well, but like engaged and feeling like a family, like really strong teams that were unstoppable. Okay, awesome. So coming in January 7th. Coming January 7th. Where can people find you? Uh, uh, right now on LinkedIn, and you okay. can get to me through W Brand Publishing. Okay, uh, so she's on well. W Brand Publishing as yes. well. So yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. I wanted to at least like yeah. not be the only person I didn't talk to over here. <laughs> you know. Right. So, that's right. But yeah, no, that's that's awesome. I pre yeah. I appreciate your time and, and congratulations on you. on your book coming out. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So, what what's your name? Hi, I'm Jennifer Benny. Jennifer Benny, and what do you do, Jennifer? So, I am a YouTuber, as you know, yeah. Walk with History. But I'm also a Navy veteran, former Navy pilot, and I am a Pinup for Vet ambassador. Okay. What is Pinup for Vets? So, it is a calendar. It's a nonprofit that makes a calendar every year for VA healthcare and veteran home visits. Okay. And we go to veteran homes and visit them and sign the calendar for them. Okay. Actay, today we're going to the Atlanta VA. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And what do you, how do you guys fund all this stuff? Like, where does it just come? Like, how does it work? It comes from people buying the calendar. Buying the calendar. Okay. So, so yes. if you buy the calendar, it directly impacts impacts your ability to do the mission that you guys are doing? Doing the mission. So visiting veterans all across 50 states, veterans in uh, in veteran homes, so our, our past generations of veterans. The last uh, home visit that I did in Mississippi, I actually visited a World War II vet. Oh, wow. So you visit about 100 veterans for every visit. Sure. Sure. sign calendars for them and sometimes they don't get visitors so yeah. when they see you walk in and we dress up as pinups it really is nostalgic it probably for them. brightens their day like yeah. absolutely makes their day yes and they, I ask them what service they were in and what they did and they love to talk about that sure. and I tell them I was in the Navy and they love to talk about that shared that camaraderie you know both serving yeah and it really is I and mean, it's great it feels good to give back and I agree. 
and you know to do this and to represent the military during this as well. That's cool. So where can people find you guys? Like, you have a website? Yeah. So pinupsforvets.com. Okay. It's the best place to buy the calendar. But we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. So pinupsforvets.com. Check them out. If you do so, then you're going to be contributing to their mission and helping them be able to afford to travel around and visit veterans in either in hospitals and nursing homes yes. and, and everything else like that, veteran homes and stuff like that. So check them out. Highly, re highly recommend it. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So I am here with Isabel Schmidt. I oh, sorry. Isabel Schmidt. Isabel Schmidt. Okay. Isabel Schmidt. What do you guys do here? Logsa? Is that this, what it's called? Yes, sir. Logsa Mill Moves. So okay. we provide military moving services for military families. Okay. Is this just like a good alternative to like the ones that are typically assigned to you from uh, the distribution management office of the Marine Corps and things like that? This is the alternative. So this is the PPM option. So if you've ever done what you Oh, this is the, the this is the Diddy move option. Ah, okay. Yeah. So if, if you know Ever heard of a Diddy move like P Diddy or P Diddles, right? <laughs> but we don't talk about him. But anyway, uh, yeah. Diddle. So anyway, yeah, we don't diddle. We don't do the diddles. But uh, so if you've ever, dishes, if you ever do a per, what's called a personal procurement moving, I believe it's yeah, called personally procured move. Personally procured move, which is when instead of the government moving your stuff, you are basically provided a certain amount of money based on the weight of all of your stuff. Um, so Logsa, you guys help with yeah. that process. We help walk you through that process, coach you through that process will get you squared away with a move with a small owner operator okay. and oftentimes our families will make money on the backside we will fully finance families who can't cover that upfront cost for their move okay um, and our big announcement is that we're going to open this up to fractional investing for military families so we want to own the company that moves us who is together, this together collectively now is this company like the, the moving company that does this that yeah. does the moving we were the first ones to come out with a marketed like full service ppm for service members two okay. years ago um that's wendy my business partner and our new partner steve okay um yeah so we're the the people who uh are teaching people how to do this right along with some other advocates in the space um, and as far as like financing upfront, you, you guys help people pay for the upfront charges and then they just pay you back after they get their reimbursement? That's it. We help walk you through that entire process. So if you don't know how to do it, we can show you. And okay. then exactly. A military family oftentimes doesn't have that kind of scratch. And so we're like, hey, yeah. we can help finance that until you get your reimbursement. And then we coach you through paperwork if you've yeah. never done a personally procured move. And again, oftentimes our families will walk away with what we call a little target money to get some new linens, some new dishes, you know, yeah. whatever the family needs. Yeah. Yeah, because the big thing is, is like if you're going to do a PPM, you don't get paid for it until after it's done. And I've done a PPM myself, so basically, it's it, it is can it can be expensive up front because you got to get a moving truck, you got to get it weighed without anything in it, and then you have to get it weighed once it's full. And that's how they determine, you know, like how much they're going to pay you. So you have to have an estimate of about how much you weigh, how much all your stuff weighs, which I'm sure you guys probably help coordinate. We that. do. We provide virtual surveys through okay. uh, Yembo. Okay. And so a member will already know what their weight generally is, right? Stephanie uh, does our surveys and she comes okay. within like 5% most of the time. So okay. you have an accurate number to go get your, um, the, you know, the amount that you may yeah, receive the from the government. Yeah, moving truck you need. Yeah, what they call a constructed cost. Yeah. And then you give us a call, we work you through all of that, we get you the best possible household goods driver that we can, and we avoid storage, right? That's, you, that's, that's, that is valuable yeah, door because door. everybody's moving all the time when it's PCS season so yep and we prefer the door-to-door -door. drivers prefer it so we work really hard to make sure that that's what we provide for our military families okay why well, that's awesome where, where can people find you they can find us on our website you can go to pcsppm.com okay pcsppm.com and that will log to mill moves is is up there on that website yes sir okay yeah cool well awesome I appreciate your time thank you thank you so for uh, explaining that that's Thanks awesome. For yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm here with what's your name? Andy Lynham. Andy. It's very nice to meet you, Andy. Nice I appreciate you. your time, man. What, what do you guys do here? Uh, we build custom American flags out of wood. They're okay. 3D. So when they're sitting on the wall, they look like they're actually waving like off the wall. Like they're waving. And where yeah. are you guys based out of? We're out of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada. I got a lot of friends out there. Yeah. I've heard it, there's a lot of good gun ranges out there. There are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you live there for? Uh, 28 years. Okay. A little bit. Were you, you served at some point? Yep. I was in the Coast Guard. In the Coast Guard. I know Guard. I'm a lot older than I look. Okay. That's why I brought you over. I know. I know. My <laughs> wife My wife told me that I needed to come talk to you specifically because she's like, he was Coast Guard. We need to talk to him. So, but anyway, right, so when did you guys uh, get started with this thing? Uh, we started in January of 19. 
January of 2019, okay? So you've been doing it for about five years now. You yes. guys have been pretty successful? Uh, we've been growing exponentially as over the years as we started, yeah. Okay, do you do the, all this stuff in-house? You got like a shop at the house or something? Yeah, well, we have a, a shop in, in Las Vegas. So. Okay, in Las Vegas. So it's okay, right cool. outside of Las Vegas in Henderson. Nice, but, yeah, okay. But we and, have a little shop there. And uh, where, where can people find you guys? you have a website or Customjacks.com. Custom Customjacks? Yep. Okay, Customjacks. Custom oh, Customjacks.com. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yep. So, all right, do you guys do any type of stuff with uh, like any type of philanthropy or anything? Oh, we do it all the time. Like yep. you can see, we, we do a lot of stuff with Tunnels to Towers. Oh, Tunnels to Towers. They're a great yeah. organization. Check yes. them out too, yeah. Yeah, Tunnels to Towers, we donate flags to them all the time. They put them in the houses that they donate to uh, veterans and yeah. uh, and first responders. Yeah. You know, the houses they give away. That's cool, And pay off their mortgages and model, remodel them and stuff. We do a lot of stuff with them. Okay. We also do a lot of stuff with the Bayless Foundation in Texas. Okay. Uh, Braden Bayless Foundation, where his dad, uh, he, we lost him in Iraq. And uh, his dad uh, goes to golf courses and does big golf events and big golf tournaments and stuff. And he displays all the flags on the, the golf course. That's and cool. people can buy. That's so cool, man. We work with him, and uh, he he purchases them at wholesale, and then he sells them at retail and takes a difference. And you know. Okay, that's cool. Puts all it right. towards his foundation. So. so yeah, check him out, customjacks.com, right? Correct. Customjacks.com. I appreciate your time, man. Hey, thank you. It's very appreciate nice you. to meet you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, as well. check them out. And if you want a nice wooden flag, hang up on your mantle so you can, Please you know, show everybody how proud you are to be an American. Check them out. Customjacks.com. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. of course. Yeah, nice man. to meet you. Nice meeting you as well. All right. All right. So I'm here with Jason, and Jason works for the United States Patent and Trademark Office, right? That's right. And what do you guys? do exactly? How do you help veterans in active duty? Well, our agency is, uh, part of our mission is to grant patents and register trademarks. Okay. So if somebody has a new technology, a new thing that they've created, they might want to get a patent to protect that invention. Yeah. Or if you're a business owner, uh, you might have a brand name, a slogan, or logo that you want to protect. Yeah. And you can do that through federal registration, and our office is the one that says whether you can use the little R in the circle symbol. Ah, okay. It makes sense. And so, do... Is there like a way that like, what's the website that people can get on to apply for these things? Sure, so www.uspto.gov, Okay. that is our site. And we have all sorts of information that's available on there about uh, patents, about trademarks, including information about how to file. Uh, and we okay. also do a whole lot of training and we have webinars, we have all sorts of materials that are available. Yeah. Uh, in case that there are those veterans or military families, military spouses who are building up their business, they want to do it on their own. Yeah. We like to have resources that are available there for people so they can do that. Yeah, so like veteran-owned businesses, if you're an entrepreneur and you work in the, the military or veteran space and you're making your own products or you're providing your own services or things like that and you want a patent or like get a patent granted or a trademark on like pictures or graphics or names and things like that, these are the people to talk to. What was the website one more time? www.uspto.gov. Okay, and this will this will help protect your brand essentially, you know, because there's a lot of folks out there that are what we call they, they want to like they want to steal from you. So this is a good way to prevent that from happening from a legal standpoint. So. That's right. You want that nationwide protection for yeah. your brand name, slogan, or logo. So so some your competitors don't come along and like try and do something too similar. Yeah, and then that way, if they do, then you can sue them and you'll make some money off of it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I appreciate your time, man. Thanks yes, very absolutely. much. You got yeah. it. All right. So I'm here with the USCCA, the Conceal Carry Association, right, for the United States of America. Yes, and sir. what's your name? Brian. Brian, Brian Holloway. Brian. It's nice to meet you, Brian. Very nice to meet you. All right. So what do you guys do here with the USCCA? Education, training, and insurance. So we've got everything from before, during, and after a self-defense incident. Okay. So beforehand, we're going to make you mentally prepared. We're going to run you through situational awareness, de-escalation, give you everything, all the tools that you need from maybe the first time you've ever picked up a firearm all the way up to defensive shooting, moving to cover, reloads, okay. all of that. So you guys have like courses and seminars and things like that. Now, are you located in every state or are you just certain We're states? in all 50 United States and U.S. territories. We work with partner ranges and instructors to tweak that training to make sure it's what you need. Okay, so like if any, if you're going through a concealed carry class in some random city in North Carolina, for example, uh, is that person like USCCA like associated in some way or? They may be, it depends on the state. Okay. So okay. the state's going to require for each state what that uh, concealed carry curriculum is going to be. Okay. Uh, quite often they're using our curriculum to operate that class, okay. but that's state dependent. Okay, makes sense. And how long have you guys been around for? Uh, USCC has been around for about 22 years. Uh, we started out just with concealed carry magazine subscription. 
just giving people information and then we've consistently involved and made more improvements to what our members get as part of the USCCA. Okay, so you provide classes and training um, for pre, during, and post an event of things of that nature? Yep. So post an event, most people aren't aware of, even if you do everything correctly, there's still some things that are going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, quite often it's likely that you'll be arrested. You're still going to have to post bail. Yeah, you yeah. may need an attorney just to help speed up that process or else you get language for up to years whether yeah. they're going to charge you or not. So with the USCCA, you have up to two and a half million dollars of bail coverage. Make sure that you are out back home with your friends and family, yeah. not waiting in prison to see what's going to happen to you. Yeah. Uh, we have attorneys that will represent you. There's no additional cost, and they can spend whatever they need to spend. There's no limit on okay. defense expenses. Okay. So whatever they need, if they want to pull in forensics, their own investigators, whatever resource that attorney needs to have you have the best possible option, they have those resources. That's valuable. Yep. Both in criminal court and in civil court. Because we okay. know that even if we do everything right and they decide not, the prosecutor decides not to charge, another individual can still have a problem with us, decide to sue us yeah. based on our actions. And in the case that for some odd reason you do have to pay civil damages, we cover up to $2 million per year in civil damage coverage. Oh, wow. Okay. And then a ton of other resources that probably takes too long to get into. Yeah, yeah. Well, where, where can people find you guys? Uh, USCCA.com. Okay. Um, and that's a full list of what our benefits are, the different membership levels that we have, the different trainings that are available. Uh, I highly encourage everybody to try it out because one of the coolest things is we give you a full year to try it. And okay. if for any reason it doesn't work for you, you can cancel and get all your money back. Cool. All right. Awesome, man. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank it's you. It's very, very nice much. to meet you, appreciate Brian. It. Very nice yeah. to meet you as well. And check out the US Conceal Carry Association. Com. Thank you very much. And then great talk with you'll you. be able to hopefully find some some good information on that. Get so, more training. Yeah, get yeah, always always get training. So thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate Thanks it. a lot. Yeah. So that's it for the Military Influencer Conference 2024 here in Atlanta, Georgia. You can see all these sponsors, all of these companies sponsored this event. All of these companies. It's quite a bit. I mean, there's a whole lot. Oh, wait, look. It's my friend Chef Rush and Austin Alexander. And they were here in Atlanta. And uh, look at this handsome, handsome young man. Mm. Mm. But anyway, that's it for this year. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.